the primary symbol of the triumphal entry is Jesus getting on a donkey and riding in this basically a parade or a procession over the Mount of Olives into Jerusalem. And the donkey itself is extremely significant in the history of ancient Israel, precisely because riding a donkey seems to have been part of the ancient Israelite coronation ceremony for previous kings. Uh, the most important example being this, the coronation of King Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 1, where Solomon in Jerusalem was anointed as king, then rode on a donkey to shouts of acclamation, where his followers were shouting, long live the king, long live King Solomon. And so it was that riding on a donkey, the shouts of kingship that attended Solomon's coronation, which seems to have been incorporated into Jesus's triumphal entry. So if Jesus is going to proclaim that I am a king of a kingdom that's coming, uh, that's one powerful way to do it. Uh, a second element that I think is really interesting to note is the spreading out of garments. So in the triumphal entry, after Jesus gets on the donkey, several of his followers take their garments and spread them out along the path as part of this procession. And that is another gesture that comes from Old Testament kingship stories. Uh, in particular, this one comes from 2 Kings chapter 9, verses 1 through 13, where the prophet Elisha had just anointed a man named Yehu to be king over Israel in a way that he hoped would overthrow the previous Omri dynasty. And so as anointing Yehu as king, the followers then spread their garments in the way and shouted kingship acclamations for Yehu as well. And in that case, it's a pretty provocative kingship episode because it's Elisha anointing someone to be king to overthrow the current regime. And so when we're thinking about Jesus going into Jerusalem, proclaiming his kingdom, remember Jesus's kingdom only comes at the expense of what's currently going on politically. And so between the donkey evoking Solomon and the spreading out of the garments evoking that Yehu story from Elisha, uh, those are two very powerful kingship images, but also powerful statements of one kingdom is ready to displace another. Mm -hmm.